others is almost half an hour. I'm like, Jesus, that's a lot of time to be spending in a post like this. But really, if you go to China, if you go to places like that, this sort of pose is pretty common. You'll see people sitting in it for hours, playing cards. Um, most people in the West can't even get into this pose. Uh, not just in the West, even maybe most, a lot of so-called modern Chinese, a lot of so-called modern Indians, uh, modern, I mean, so-called quote-unquote modern people in general have lost touch with not just reality, but their own bodies. I mean, this thing should be easy for everybody, but most people can't even get down below this. Anyway, this is about the Tiger Bend push-up. Now, the Tiger Bend is something I've done some videos on, but I was never really able to show you well, I did those at home, but I want to show you the form, the proper form now. Uh, in a regular push-up, and I'll show you so you can really, in a regular push-up, you're that way. And you know this, I did this in the last video, that way you can look up or straight ahead if you like. But make sure this doesn't happen, yeah, this way. Look at your toes, and you go down. Now, that's a regular push-up, but... And again, the, but the tiger bend is one in which your, your upper chest touches the floor, yeah, but your forearms, this part of your, of your, of your forearms touch the floor. So I recommend doing these on your knees, like I said before, when you first start. Let me show you the motion, basically. So what should happen is you're going down, like in a regular push-up, this way, but a regular push-up, you're... A regular push-up your arms go like this here this way and this way this way this way now there's two variants of this one of them there's two variants and I do them both I used to teach them in a different manner uh, but now I teach these two variants because I find I find those to be much better one is when you go down in the regular push-up you don't change position you simply bring your forearms to the floor now or the par or the grass or the mud pit or whatever you're doing your thing and no pun intended <laughs> um so okay so you're this way this way now when you go down you don't go this way you simply this way can you, you can see my forearms touch the floor or almost touch the floor. You don't have to go all the way down. And make sure your back is straight. And in that one motion, you push back up again. You see my back, I sort of, it's, it's hard to keep your back completely straight in these because of the tiger, like, you're essentially doing a crouch like this. So your back will bend a little, but you try and keep it as straight as you as possible. And it's, it's the tiger bend because because you're gonna look like a tiger bending so this way you see this you're crouching you're stalking that way that way oh uh, that's what my when my daughter saw me doing these she was like you're stalking so uh that's one and then i'm gonna show you the other way, which is a little easier. This way is pretty tough for most people starting out because it really works the back of your arms. Uh, so I'm gonna have my, I'm gonna have my, you know, my uh, hands close together. You can have them out; it's easier. I'm gonna have them this way because it's a lot tougher. I can feel it a lot more in my arms. So this way, I'll just do a couple of reps or. You see and keep your back straight and if you want to make it tougher move your hands right down to you um, keep keep moving your upper body ahead so that more weight is on your shoulders and that way regular push up this way and these that way that way you see the difference there Regular push-up is this way, these, you go this way. That's the difference. Now, 
The other way to do these is you go down in a regular push-up, but you go down like you would normally, so this way, and then from that position you push backwards. So that means your feet move a little back, or you could maybe arch the back just a little upwards, but I prefer moving the feet back until your forearms touch the floor. I prefer moving the feet back because then your back remains straight. So here, this way, this way. Now you move back this way until you're here. Now from here, and make sure your back is straight from here, you push back up and you go this way. Now, I tried to break it down, uh, but when I do these in, when I do these in repetition, for, for repetitions, you'll see that you don't pause, you, you, it's one continuous movement. You go down this way, this way, and up, this way, this way, and up. Instead of just flat out this way, this way. Is either method better? No. I find the regular one to work the triceps, uh, the, the, the back of the arm a lot more. The triceps, you could probably do them either way. In fact, I recommend you do them either way. Um, so now I'm going to show you a couple of reps of what I meant, which I normally do them straight ahead this way, this way, but I'm going to show you what I mean. And I'm not going to look at the camera here because so down, push back this way this way down push back this way this way down push back this way this way and you see my back remains straight that way we'll show you from this angle and you can do these on your fingertips too but again get good at the at the, at the initial one first before you so this way uh, so I'll show you the first one. Okay, back straight. That way. That way. Now your back will bend a little, but that way. That's the first one. Now, now um, pushing back, let me show you from this angle. So you can really see how you how you uh, push back let's see if we can get this to be um, yeah I'll show you from this angle so you can really see how you know you can push back so you're here 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 you go down now you push back this way then you come here here down push back and your hips will go up a little naturally which is fine push back this way and that's how you do the tiger bend and the pushing backwards style uh, when you first start this this will be almost impossible to do but work at it 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 really builds the triceps the shoulders all of that so again to finish off let's show you from this angle and i believe this will be this video we do on tiger bends until i get to handstand tiger bends so see my hands i'm going to put them really close together because that taxes your upper body a lot more it's another tip you can see me yeah you can see me now so you're here back straight look maybe you can look down this way that way you see me here here that way not all the way down that way some of you may not be able to go all the way down I do but I've got this niggle here in my shoulder that that's getting better but so I don't I don't you I don't touch my elbows or this part but I mean as long as you go down this much and then you and that's fine so that's it on the tiger bend and uh, 
Ah. Let's finish up with some knuckle push-ups, I guess. A lot of people say these are tough. So basically, but I find them to be pretty easy. I find fingertip to be a lot tougher. So this way, this way. Knuckle push-ups are essentially, you simply make a fist, two. They're pretty easy for me, but And your chin shouldn't be okay. This. Here. This way. I'm trying to look at you as I'm doing it, so my form's a little off, but that's how you do them. Basically, this portion. Now, you're not on your knuckle here. This portion, basically. So that's knuckle push-ups and tiger band push-ups, and I believe that's enough for this video. I'm going to be back pretty soon.